Hello and welcome to 50 Days of Keynote, 50 Things You Can Create for the Classroom, brought to you today by me, Alicia Bankofa. Today is already day four, so get ready to find out how you can use Keynote to create mind maps and concept maps. So what are these exactly? I'm sure you've seen them before. They're graphical depictions of ideas and concepts. They look like nodes and arrows. Mind maps have like a radial structure that's not in the middle and they branch out. And concept maps are more free. And they both represent connections, hierarchies or dependencies. So why use Keynote? There are lots of reasons. You could include um, multimedia elements, you can you have full control over the design, you can use design tools, you can draw, or you can use the shapes. Yeah, this is really personal and individualized and there's no login necessary. So that's an added advantage. You don't have to use like an online platform. It's right there on the iPad. The design tools at your disposal are just the images, video, drawing tools, colors and the shapes. So how do you actually do a mind map? It's really easy. You have the topic in the middle and you start your branch out just showing the how the the what aspects the topic has. Here I animated my mind map for you so you can see the possibilities. So what can you do? You can either use on the left, you can use the shapes with the arrows and you can even format the arrows. It's really cool. Or on the right, you can see you can have the nodes and the arrows as drawings and just, just draw freehand. So what are some lesson examples that you can do? You can choose, for example, like I did now, healthy eating habits, healthy sleeping habits or healthy surfing habits. What can this look like? Well, the students can always, of course, research and brainstorm what are healthy eating habits, and then they can design their mind map and review, fine tune, and even animate their design at the end. Or here, healthy sleeping, you can do a do and a don't um, sub subtopic, and then they can really clearly see, okay, this is what you should do, what you shouldn't do, and they, they can embellish with emojis, which students love. Or you can, as I did here, healthy surfing, you can use the shapes to create a really cool graphical mind map where you can really understand, ah, okay, it's about healthy surfing on the internet. So how do you actually do this on Keynote? Let me show you. So you press the, the you tap on the plus button, you can add shapes or add plus the button and you can add the drawing. When you do drawings, you can use the selection tool to resize or rearrange or move things around. You can even change the color. When you're using the shapes, you can format the box however you want. You can have a border, you can have a style, the lines can have a different width, you can have a shadow. And you, as I said, you can format the arrows the way you want. You can even decide that they can have arrowheads or not. So you can see here, I have my, my blank um, mind map, which I'm gonna now embellish with a video. Welcome to my mind map. See if you can guess what the topic of this mind map is. Let's take a look. I don't know. Is it about healthy surfing habits? You're right. So you can see there are loads of applications for the classroom. I'm sure you can think of many more than I did. And I really wish you lots of lots of um joy with this way how to create mind maps using keynote all the videos on 50 days of keynote 